Yo, Andrew here. Let's go. Today we're going to be talking about Mafia Mama. What did my grandfather do? Ah! What the fuck is going on? Folks, this film is a comedy adventure film. The comedy aspect of it sometimes can get a little dark and disgusting. So I've just warned you ahead of time. This movie was a stupid, stupid movie and also quite a lot of fun. I think this movie purely exists as a possible spite. See, it's it's. I think it's a it's a fun little revenge to Tony Collette's real life ex husband. Let me explain. In December 2022, Dave Galafasi was spotted kissing a young woman, a chiropractor from Sydney, Australia, at a Sydney beach. Tony Collette then announces that she was going to divorce her musician husband after 20 years. I mean, maybe possibly why this movie exists. I can't be too sure. Tony Collette is the producer in this film and hats off to her. She turned her husband's cheating debacle into cash and a sweet holiday in Italy. I mean, that's respect right there. That's that's I'm not even that smart. I wish I could turn all my breakups into some good cash or stories. Stories worth making into a film, even if it's a stupid film. But still, you know, you know what I mean? Tony Collette's character comes back home one day from work and finds her husband doing the Lord's work on a young chick that he was supposed to be tutoring for music and she was devastated and at that point she coincidentally receives a call that her grandfather had died. Her estranged grandfather is a mafia boss somewhere in Italy and his dying wish was to have his estranged granddaughter who lives in America, Tony Collette that is, to come to Italy and take over the family business. That's pretty much the movie right there. There is nothing deep about it. That's the premise. You got it? All right, let's go. Folks, I think everyone involved in this film did it for the payday. This movie was a money job for sure. Everyone involved in it were like, we'll take the free trip to Italy and we'll like our wallets to be a little bit fatter than it was earlier in the day. Well, I think Tony Collette and Monica Bellucci's talents were wasted in this movie. But then again, Tony Collette is the producer to this film, so I can understand based on the story I told you earlier before we started this whole thing. But I also think both actors just wanted to do a fun movie because they're always casted in serious roles, so you gotta respect that. Get on holidays, get paid for it, not do a serious movie. I think it's, it's a win-win for them. Now you're probably wondering, who is this movie for? This movie is for those who want to watch a throwaway comedy and not overthink it at all. It's just fun, but it's also really, really silly or stupid most of the times. It doesn't take itself seriously and I rated six out of 10. It's not the worst thing, but it's nowhere close to good or great. It's just, hey, let's watch something. This film is an okay watch. I, I, I definitely think it's a chick flick. Now, this movie does this thing where it goes fun, 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 and then all of a sudden there is gore. And that gore, they just lean all the way or dial it all the way to 12. It is disgusting. I was closing my eye, just wondering, oh. Okay, so that's a short two cents video from me today. Let me know if you like this format. I was trying to make it quick so that you can come in, get the information and get out. And also drop a like if you can and stick around and watch my other videos. Have a good day. This scene exists purely just so they can have it in the trailers. In context, makes no sense. In the trailers, it looks like, oh, this film is going to be amazing.